What's up, YouTube? Y'all see what's going on? Don't mind the music in the back. I got some um, non copyright music on in the back. You see what I'm saying? Just so, you know, just so we can. I just want y'all to feel more comfortable, you know? But um, make sure y'all go follow my Instagram, play by play two underscores. And yeah, y'all know what's going on. Shout out to the gentlemen and the ladies, ladies and the gentlemen. Y'all see what's going on. But the um, topic of this video, I'm just get right into it. It's the pros and cons of being of being a bisexual male. That's all it is. The pros and cons of being bisexual. I'ma let y'all know. Y'all know what's up, man. This is unscripted, all raw, off the top. You dig what I'm saying? But I appreciate the ladies and the gentlemen that's been following my Instagram. Y'all keep doing that. Y'all motivate me to post pictures. And yeah, I swear to God, I'm finna get my head done. Right after this video, I'm finna walk to the stove, get my cardio in. After that, I gotta wash my head. And y'all finna get the braids in, so no bullshit. Next time y'all see me, head gonna be done. I don't know what the heck I'm... I might have to wait to the target shape up too. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking a little crazy. Well, let's go ahead and get into the video, y'all. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and drop other topics. I got some story times on the way, but I got hella story times. Y'all gonna the story times I got, y'all don't think cap. Like, but the crazy thing is that I feel like y'all know I ain't cap. That's the reason why y'all here. Y'all fuck with me, I'm fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and get into the video. Pros of being bisexual. I say the pros is um excuse me being attracted to either either gender, but me personally like when it, when it comes to male, I'm not attracted to their facial features respectfully. And if I would respectfully, it'd be like a femboy or you know attracted to trans women. You get what I'm saying? And of course, I'm attracted to women that come out the coochie. With a coochie, you do what I'm saying. That's a pro. I'm just, I'm, you know what I'm saying. I like both genders. I feel like that's a pro. Um, what's another pro? Another pro. I feel like I meet, I meet a lot of other bisexual people, open-minded people, pansexual people, gay. Everybody, even if you heterosexual, everybody, I, I fuck with everybody. So it's just like. But it's a different kind of lane when you're just yourself. You see what I'm saying? So that's another thing. Me, me, me being bisexual, I run into a whole lot of open-minded people. And I really love that. I really do love that. Like, that's probably my favorite. That's probably my favorite. Because I like being around like-minded people. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting judged. The likelihood of being judged around being people that think alike just like you is not really common. You dig what I'm saying? So I'd rather just deal with people that think like me, rock like me. You know what I'm saying? Females too, so. What's that? It's two kind. No, it's two pros. What's another pro? Mm, I would say another pro is um, women. Uh, me being like they fantasy. That's a pro. I get a lot of women that tell me that, uh, you know what I'm saying? I said this in another video, but I get a lot of women telling me that they get off to me. And that, and that you know what I'm saying? On the sexual standpoint, it. It turned me on a little bit, or just it made me smile. It made me smirk, like yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that's a pro. That's three pros. What's another pro? Um, but yeah, it's really about. I probably I'll go back to the sec the second pro. Really, just being around open minded people and nah, I got a whole nother one. Me just being myself. That's a pro. Like I'm just I'm just myself. So. Pat myself on the back, you know, just being myself. I say that's a pro. So we got four pros. <clears throat> now let's go to the cons. Cause I gotta get my head done. Cons, I would say, is people like assuming that you always sexual. You see what I'm saying? Or it's like, you know what I'm saying? I let a woman know respectfully, like, oh, I'm bisexual. She just automatically think I only like men. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, if you a gay male, you, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing wrong with none of that. Y'all know I'm coming. Don't none of that bother me because I love everybody. But women and a whole lot of other males, they use that gay word to try to make you feel down for you being yourself. We're not letting that happen. We're not letting that slide. That's what we're not doing. See what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, they'll try to portray an image that isn't that. You know what I'm saying? I let a lot of women know that I'm bisexual, but they'll just push the narrative and just try to say I'm gay and I just... 
once again, that goes back to just being around people that's open-minded. Because I don't even deal with them kind of females. I just, I kick them to the curb, keep pushing. Um, another kind would be, like I said, basically just putting an image on you that isn't true. You know what I'm saying? Another kind would be, that I always, like I said, the first one, always thinking you're sexual. You see what I'm saying? Like, like people act like gay people. Sexual people, sapiosexual people, you know what I'm saying? Transgender women, transgender men, they act like people can't just be themselves for it. Like, I can't just, like, your sexuality is like the summary of your life. Like, that's all you got as a person. I don't like that. So, you feel me? That's a con. Um, three. Disrespect. I don't like the disrespect. I hate the disrespect. Crazy thing is, and another one, I'm just going to work back to disrespect. The disrespect in your own community. Like, come on now. Like, we already be. The, the color of my skin, you know what I'm saying? My African, my African brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? We already beefing with each other every day. Fighting each other, killing each other. So then you telling me in the LGBTQ community, we got to down the other person. We supposed to be, like, I'm talking about, it, it just be wild, bro. I just don't like the disrespect within the community. That's a con for me. I don't, I don't like that. I don't appreciate it. Uh -huh. Um, The F-bomb word, y'all know what I'm saying. The, the, I, mean, I ain't gonna say the whole word, but the fag word, I don't like that. Cause the same people that call you fags be the same people that want to sleep with you at the end of the night or like i said they use that word to make you feel some kind of way they say that word to get your your blood rushing boiling you see what i'm saying yeah it's just but my main thing or like what i don't like on the con side will be the disrespect in the community i i hate that and it's kind of another kind will be like i said in the last one too i'm gonna piggyback off that's kind of kind of hard to run into genuine intimate partners, you see what I'm saying? Because it's it's a little, I don't know, I feel like I'm not, I'm not the ordinary, so me coming out to a, to a female and letting her know like, hey, I'm bisexual and I'm leading with letting her know that I'm a content, content creator, you see what I'm saying? And um, basically putting my Twitter out there for the world to see. It's a little, it's a little hard trying to, trying to find somebody that's gonna accept you for you. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> That's what I'm doing. And I'm just sharing, like I said, I'm just giving y'all a peek of my world. You see what I'm saying? But I feel like y'all just comment down below. I'm like, y'all let me know if y'all understand what I was saying with the pros and the cons of just being bisexual, period. Like, with the moral of the story, bro, like, we get disrespected in the whole community. I'm talking about just everybody gay, sapiosexual, pansexual, trans men, trans women. It's everybody. Like, even, even lesbian women, all that. This is for everybody. Like, you know what's up to. But the hate be in the community for real. We already got to worry about people outside that don't approve of our lifestyle. But we get ashamed twice, even with so-called people that's supposed to be your people. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all the pros. My, my favorite pro is me just being myself and running to the open-minded people. I love that part. Cons, I told y'all, the, the hate in our own community. I hate it. Like, and I don't hate nothing, but I just hate when people don't use logic. You see what I'm saying? They say fucked up words that they don't want to use. Or maybe they do want to use it, but they use them words to hit below the belt. Knowing they don't want nobody calling them that. And they be the same person that's in the same genre as you. Y'all in the same... Y'all in the same community, man. But we ain't gonna go into all that. Y'all drop down in the comments what other video topics... Y'all see them all, I gotta get my head done. I gotta get this out the way, man. I'm looking crazy. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Playboy Play, two underscores. Two underscores. Make sure y'all like, come subscribe. And if you made it to the end of the video, if you made it to the end of the video, put, um, put Friday. If you made it to the end of the video, just put Friday. You see what I'm saying? Cause I say that cause we're gonna have a great Friday. We're gonna have an even better weekend. And just be blessed that you woke up today. You know what I'm saying? Be blessed that you are who you are. No matter if other people don't like you or they don't accept you for you. I'm letting you know. Gentlemen and ladies, I accept you. Ladies and gentlemen, I accept you.
gentlemen and ladies, I accept you. I got you. It's all love this way. It ain't. We all, you know what I'm saying? We all gonna be ourselves, and so nobody be bad for being they self. So if you feeling down, people trying to get on you, whatever. Same people try to get on you about what you like. You never even know what the, what the what the they like late night. Like, come on, other people be into some other. You you only know what they fetish should be. They fetish should be off the wall, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, or you got people that like the same thing you like, but they just DL and they just want to make you feel bad about what you're doing when you open with yourself, and they the ones hiding behind the curtain. But since they a follower, they gonna call it out and point it out. Of course, because what do followers do? They follow everybody. Everybody who's open-minded. I just I just feel like we just need to keep it G. Like, bro, you aren't a follower. Because you could have chose to be DL and this and that. And be lying to yourself every night. But you didn't. You chose to be out and be comfortable with who you are. So, once again, everybody should be patting themselves on the back. You know, for whatever your sexual orientation is. See what I'm saying? But yeah, it's your boy Play. I'm out of here, man. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Playboy Play 2 underscores. Y'all see what I'm saying? I'm out. Shout out to the gentlemen and the ladies. Ladies and the gentlemen. I'm out, y'all. You feel me? And y'all wanna see y'all. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. So I can start posting. If y'all wanna see how I get down, how I dress, follow me on Instagram. But alright, y'all. See y'all in the next video.